my goodness, it is like 23 degrees. When I said I was cold in my last few vlogs, no, it ain't anything to today. There's like frost and crap on my windshield, you know, classic winter things. I feel like we're, we're officially in winter. We are heading into work today. It's gonna be a busy freaking weekend. I'm on like the home stretch till Christmas. So today's Friday, got Saturday, Sunday, and then I'm off Monday for Christmas. My parents come in tomorrow. Lots of cleaning today when I get home from work. I'll take you along through all the shenanigans. Let's go. I'm so mad. My entire coffee fell on the floor. This is gonna be a rough morning. Okay, last you just saw, I dropped my coffee. And then after that, literally all hell broke loose at work that we were so busy, obviously in a good way. We had so many customers come in, lots and lots of foot traffic. So yeah, a very busy day. Now it is Saturday. My parents just arrived in LaGuardia. So Jack and I are on the way to my aunt's house because my aunt is picking them up from the airport and then we're gonna eat dinner at her house. So it's very convenient because I was able to get out of work. We're driving to the city now and then we're gonna go see them. And then my parents are gonna be here for a full week. Jackson next to me, but I'm using my ring light in the car because as you can see, it's pitch black. So I'm not gonna shine it on him. But yeah, we were just talking about how this time last year, so December 23rd, I was covering a blizzard in news. This was back when I was at Local 12. I was going through the archives. I found this funny photo of me like freezing my butt off as well as an old news clip. So the what it was was a blizzard, but it wasn't like a blizzard you think like so much snow, like there was snow, but it was more so the, the wind temperatures were so cold that it was so dangerous for people to be outside. Yet me as a news reporter outside reporting in the news. So I was on the breaking news of the day. This is a story we've been talking about all morning. We have some good news finally along Fort Washington Way. Yeah, traffic came to a standstill for hours overnight as a semi caught fire. Luckily, that driver was OK, but mm -hmm. Local 12's Jenna Cisneros has been watching that scene all morning for us. Jenna? Well, Sheila, you know, I love reporting the good news and I do got some good news for you because all lanes northbound and southbound here at Fort Washington Way are open. They finally were able to tow that semi. If you were with us all morning on Good Morning Cincinnati, you saw that there was a semi truck here pretty much in flames. I know the city of Cincinnati has about 115 plow truck drivers working in 12 hour shifts. So that's about 55 to 56 per 12 hour shift. Again, the more you can do to stay out of their way, the better they better chance they have to clear up all this mess that you're seeing. So again, if you can uh, stay home, stay cozy, because I wish I was you guys at home or in the studio right now. Guys, I'll send it back to you. I think that was my I say like 10th live shot of the day that morning and so that morning on the 23rd I worked from like 2 a.m. to noon then I napped and drove to Nashville area because that was the first time Jack's parents and my parents were meeting for the very first time and so we ended up doing everything like a day later because the whole blizzard thing and news and 24-hour business so it's just so interesting to see like how far I've come in a year, you know, working that job, going to this job, moving to a whole new place, Jack being in a whole new job and just like kind of reflecting on all of that. Um, but one more thing from last year that I was also finding as I was looking back on this day last year was one of our holiday promos. So our news photographer came over and he was reporting all these little spots that would play on commercial breaks um, during the holiday season. And this was, <laughs> they wanted you to put like, your family, your friends, like whoever that was important to you. So it like it was in your home. So we did a we did one at my house or my apartment in Cincinnati. And so it was me, Oakley and Jack and the, they cut off the one word that Jack said at the end. So it was like, happy holidays. And so he didn't even get his claim to fame. He's just like standing there in the corner. And so I always think what? Just sitting there being held hostage. Sitting there being held hostage. I don't know if you can hear him because I literally like, don't want to shine this light on him. But yeah, it was a funny promo, and I think I, I need to share this on social media later, but I know I wanted to include this in this YouTube vlog, so I'm going to play it now here as well. Hi, everyone. I'm Local 12's Genesis Cisneros, and this is my boyfriend, Jack, and our dog, Oakley, and we want to wish you a Merry Christmas. This year, we're so thankful for all the growth 2022 brought us and to be able to celebrate the holidays with both of our families. But most importantly, I want to thank you, our Local 12 viewers, for letting us highlight all the positive here in Cincinnati. So from our family to yours, happy holidays. 
cute little fun promo that we can look back on for years to come when he was my boyfriend instead of my fiance. So yeah, that's all my reminiscing of the day. I am so pumped to see my parents. And also this time last year, like my parents flew in like that same day. So it's kind of like a whole full circle moment. My parents coming right back to the Christmas shenanigans. You know, we're going to my aunt's house this year, celebrating it with family again. And yeah, I'm excited to go to my aunt's house, eat some good Italian food. I will share what all of that looks like. And then we're going back there on Monday for Christmas day. Tomorrow we're going to hang low. I have to work pretty much just the morning hours. So like, I think I have to go in from like nine to like noon, nothing crazy, but it's going to be kind of fun. We're supposed to wear like ugly sweaters. We're doing our secret Santa. If you remember, we, I, I showed you guys like us picking secret Santa a couple of vlogs ago. So we're doing all the gifts tomorrow. And I think I'm going to share what I got in like later in this video when I vlog it all. So you'll see that. And then we're, he's also like catering some food. And so kind of like a big hangout, like stopping by at J Mark. Thanks so much for you know, shopping us and hanging out with customers. And I think Jack and my parents will come too. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. My dad's coming in hot Let's with the Ugg boots ocean. and his burka. Are you cold? Very. You freezing in New York? Yes, it's not even that cold out, it's not even snowing. Got the clan all here. I walk in and everything is already set. Italia, my aunt, is the best at hosting. She put this on shelves. Look how cute this is. And then this is more so what I would pick. Some olives, an Italian staple. I always laugh at this. My dad's in the kitchen being nosy as heck. Look at him. He's going there to check on whatever other foods here. My sweet aunt cooking a storm. Zia, you did so much. No, no, no. No one in the family likes to be on camera except my handsome Father, right? Look Except at this. Look at this. Calamari, Italy style. Italy style. Olives. Oh my god, I'm dying to taste that. This is also stuff I will not eat, Ooh, but this. this is the chicken for me. Yes. You're so sweet. The chicken also. And more chicken. Like oh my goodness, you cooked for like a whole restaurant, Zia. We got different menu. Different menu. <laughs> and my absolute favorite view from my aunt's apartment. This is so pretty. It just never gets old. Something about the city lights. Love it. Cretina, metti la pasta dentro. What did you just say? Never mind. No <laughs> <laughs> words to that effect. <laughs> no, what does that mean in Italian? Can I legally put that on YouTube? It will lose the effect of saying that. Okay, I'm so sorry. Pasta <laughs> just came out. Yeah. And we're ending the night in the true yeah, Italian yeah. fashion. Wow. Espresso. I want cheese. Like the food is really good. Nice we're also stuck. Yeah, Maria. Everyone's screaming behind me. That's just how Italians work, you know? We're all in like 10 million conversations. <laughs> there you go. Good morning. I'm just getting into work. It is Christmas Eve. We are, again, not working the full day, but we are going to do a lot of fun festive things. We already have the sandwiches rolling. We got coffee. We got biscotti. They have some like drinks out here getting cold. Sorry, my cinematic version's on, so it's a little blurry. And then we are going to do Secret Santa. I got my sweater on. I got my Christmas nails on. I think I'm going to give my mom some of these as well. These are the Olive and June ones. I'm going to glue some on for her so we can match for Christmas Day. And yeah. I'll show you some work shenanigans. Let's go. This is how the boys think Secret Santa presents should be wrapped in literal trash bags. And Mike's trying to make it like one eon better by- Merry Christmas! <laughs> one eon? You know like an eon is a, is a large- I'm not done yet. Not a unit of- One, like, one a little quality. smidget better. The finishing touch, he gets a J Mark bow. And Boom. Oh. See, now if you hadn't prejudged me. That's that still, still looks terrible. <laughs> So Ron decided to do the trash bag idea just a little bit better than the rest of the boys. He's not amused. Yeah, where was it? The dollar store? No, it was uh, Hallmark? on Amazon. On Amazon. Babe, you go first. So Jim yes. got Marissa. It was wrapped so nice. Jim got me last year too. Let's see them. Ooh, they're good cute. too. Oh, and she wrapped it so cute. Spritz. <laughs> Spritz, bitch. I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. Oh. No, oh, we have to pause. Unpause and resume, please. <laughs> 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 
Thank you. <laughs> this is the laughing part of it. The actual gift is not something we can share on YouTube, oh, but Lordy. just know it was a good one. Oh. It's one of them, oh. them massage things to oh, help old right. people. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of people. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! Heck? You guys don't want to know the story why she uh, yeah. needs that, so we'll Extra save time. you that. <laughs> My dad came and Jack. Merry Christmas Eve! Woo! All the boys and all of the sandwiches. I officially made it through the Christmas season in retail. My first retail Christmas season. It was busy. It was hectic, but I'm grateful it's over and I'm grateful to have a day off tomorrow. I mean, it really wasn't that bad. We got off early today, like. It's nothing compared to waking up and working at like 2 a.m. with wind chills in the morning, like similar to what I was just comparing like in these previous clips. But yeah, I, I just like I'm pumped to just take a day off, like take the rest of today off and just enjoy time with my family. They're not always here in New York, so I'm excited to just, you know, sit back, relax with them, hang out with Jack as well and just enjoy this Christmas season. Christmas, baby. So we did Christmas early. We're doing Christmas Eve opening because we're waking up early because my mom wants to wake up early and go to the city tomorrow to go to my aunt's house. So I got Jack, show it, because we did a quick little video, a Kindle. Mm -hmm. And then Jack got me the Instamax, like those Polaroid and some films. And he said something, the elves are still making my other gift. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we did a small, like a medium-ish present, and then we are saving the rest for lots of other things like the car and the house that we want to save up for. And then dad, show them what you got. An Oakley hat. My dad got an Oakley hat. An Oakley shirt. And why? Because you're repping your granddaughter. So I don't like Oakley. Cause he, <laughs> Cause he gets so annoyed with my dog Oakley. So I thought it'd be really funny to get him like the Oakley brand of a hat and shirt in his favorite color. And then... I got a whiskey smoker. <laughs> we no whiskey. Yeah, gotta go get whiskey. But, um... This. It's, uh, you set this on top of the glass. And I've got applewood, beechwood, pearwood, pecanwood, and two others that I can use it's this It's going torch. all over the place. But that right. is from my parents to him. And then my cousin got me this one. Always my sister, forever my friend. It's a bracelet, so cute. But a moment for the funniest present ever. My dad got this for us. This is a definite impulse buy, but it is us in bobblehead form from this photo over here on the right when Jack graduated Army Basic Training. I think they got us pretty spot on. Jack has a very large head. This is so funny. My glasses are spot on my outfit. Do you guys remember this romper? I was like talking about this dang romper and how I wanted this outfit like so bad. They even got my bracelet, my engagement ring, my shoes. I mean, it's spot on. I love this. Dad, what inspired this present? It was an impulse buy as usual. Yeah? Period. Do you think it looks like a? Very. <laughs> but what makes this even funnier is that a couple years ago, maybe like four or five years ago, <laughs> you're just like bobbing it in the corner my dad got me a a bobblehead of just me when i was a news reporter and it said best news reporter ever and he wanted me to use that news reporter bobblehead and put it on my desk at work like how embarrassing would that have been and he was so into it and that that bobblehead looked absolutely nothing like me i mean these look more like us but i have to find do you have a photo of the old what do we do with that thing babe what if we do you, 
it's at home. Okay, you guys have to find it so I can post this in here because yeah, it, it, it was not that good. It was not that good, and it was. I gotta like go through my photos. Maybe if I find it, I'll like put it on the screen here. Is but it, it was so funny, and my dad just loves these stupid bobblehead things. This nonstop bobblehead. <laughs> when he sent us this video, um, Jack and I were cracking up for a solid like thirty minutes. Like it's just so us. It's so good. So we're but gonna put it. The back of your head. Oh, yeah, they did. They got the curls and everything. This is, like, spot on. I mean, I don't think I'm this blonde, but, hey, we'll take it. Look, they, they put us our hands all around each other. They even got my little leg pop. What do you think? They nailed it. They nailed it. Is it us? It's us. <laughs> Good morning. Merry Christmas. We are getting ready. It is, like, 9 in the morning. We are going to my aunt's house. We, as you saw, opened our Christmas presents last night. Jack was, I was like, Jack, we're going to open our presents. He's like, no, no, why don't we do it on Christmas? Is that like not normal for you? <laughs> you know, yeah. we can't wait in my family. Yeah, we usually open them on Christmas. I used to have like one gift that I would open on Christmas Eve, maybe. Really? It wasn't like a consistent tradition. Mm, I'm I think just, some of my parents would shut me in. I'm just impatient. So, yeah, I had to open them all on Christmas Eve. We have a lot of food ahead of us. Jack and I are already like making plans on going to the gym and being better nutritionally in the new year but today we're splurging we're enjoying as you all should i hope you guys have a great christmas I'm wearing my little festive outfit jack's doing a t-shirt because we're gonna be in like inside an apartment where there's an oven going on and everything so it's gonna be a little hot in there got my ipad so that uh it's not an ipad <laughs> i'm kidding it's a kindle you got me a kindle but i'm treating it like a kid with an ipad it's gonna keep me well behaved whatever i'm like bored i can just look at that but and i don't think i'll be bored yeah never you're am, not gonna, never you're not, not gonna be bored with all the i don't Italians. actually think i'm bringing this <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna have a second to but around. i am gonna bring his christmas present i'm gonna bring the polaroid because we're gonna take some cute polaroid pictures on my aunt's balcony which like oversees new york city if you guys follow me on instagram you've definitely seen me post it on her story i was like what are you doing with this thing he's like scratching me with the with the Kindle, but yeah, we're getting ready. We're gonna head to the city and I'll probably vlog a little bit more over there and then just enjoy the time with family. My mom and I have matching nails for Christmas. We did the olive in June and it's so fun because it comes with like 42 nails. So her and I have like different size nails. So the ones that fit me didn't fit her and the ones that fit her didn't fit me. Yay, I love it. Do you love it, mommy? Yes. We're on the way to my aunt's house and my parents pointed out that this is where I was born. My dad has a story from when I was born. Go ahead, speak loud. It wasn't a regular doctor, it was one of the guys there. He delivered Jenna, came back, and I, I went back to where Marissa was originally and he was eating my sunflower seeds with his legs <laughs> on the bed. My dad brought sunflower seeds and the doctor who delivered me was eating his sunflower seeds But I guess he couldn't say anything because he got me that day. What a great present, but it wasn't Christmas Day not to confuse anyone Got my Christmas app roll game entails but my mother is blindfolded she's the my mother is the biggest cheater ever you can never trust her yeah all right mom try to oh i see you're trying to pick up the bows with the spatula and put it in the hole <laughs> lisa <laughs> all right Let's actually 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Can't touch it. Mom, you got him. You got him. There you go, man. Keep going. Wow. wow. She's cheating. Yeah, she's, she's cheating. She's cheating. No, I'm not. She's blinding me. That's it. Yeah. Oh, you really do. Wow. 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 Mom! I'm not <laughs> You're too good. Go. Wow. Wow. Go. 
Dad, you're so good at this game. <laughs> We're on to the second game. Yeah, that's, I recommend underhand. Underhand, you get to, it's good, there's too much power that way. <laughs> Do, throw it underhand, Shema. <laughs> so bad. You got one more shot. Okay, as you guys just saw, I was not great at the games. My mom and Jack took the prizes home. Jack, what are you doing? So much fat I've gotten. <laughs> you can track your fat progress over the vlogs. Yeah. I was thinking about that. I was like, I wonder if we can like visibly see. <laughs> Mine are probably just over the past two holidays. Um, tell them what you won from winning in the games. <clears throat> I got a, a cup. A mug. A mug. <laughs> and it came with a flashlight that's really bright. So I'm going to put it in my truck. And then my mom won some makeup. And yeah, that is Christmas. That was our Christmas vlog. If you've made it to this point in the YouTube video, thanks for hanging along and watching all of the unwrapping of presents, the family time, the crazy Italians. My mother is in the corner right now and still not wanting to be on camera making tricolor cookies as we speak. So the fat gaining, not, well, we're not really, this is a joke, but like it's just continuing here until my mother leaves us on Saturday. Like she doesn't even want to get in the way. She, I'm staring at her. My mom doesn't like to be on, on camera, but that's okay. Her, I do, her daughter takes all the, all the spotlight, and uh, now I forcibly make this one on. Being held hostage. <laughs> you always say that. Anyways, I think this is how I'm going to end it. I'm going to spend the rest of the week not vlogging with my parents and just enjoying the time here. So thanks so much. Hope you guys all had a great Christmas. Happy holidays. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.